Hello all, Corey Vanderplu here at Corey Photo on Instagram. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to export your final images. So once your images are retouched and finalized and properly cropped, open them up in Photoshop. So as you can see, we have this crop here. If you don't know about crops, check out my previous video. I put a link in the description. But what you want to do is crop your image so it's ready to be exported. So what you do is command click, shift command I, push C so it's on the crop mode and push enter twice. And there you go, now you have it cropped. And now we're gonna make our action. So what I like to call this is the name and export. The first thing I wanna do is flatten the image. There's no shortcut key for that, you have to do it the old fashioned way. And then shift Apple S for save. And now I like to save a TIFF folder with my layered files, that way it's all in one place and we're gonna click save. So now your high res image is completely saved. Now what we wanna do is change our size. I usually like to make it 1500 pixels. It's a small size, but it also is perfect for emails and desktops and phones. And once you have it saved, we're gonna push shift command option S for save for web. It's my favorite sneaky trick because it gives you the best quality and the smallest file size. Make sure it's set to JPEG and your quality is set to 100, and then you wanna hit save. What I wanna do is I always wanna save it in the same section as my TIFFs, that way they're side by side. I'll show you that a little later. JPEG, save. And then we wanna close this image, do not save. It will save over your layered TIFF, do not save. Once that's done, you can close your action, and now our action's ready to do. We can do these, these next few quite simply, so again, Command click, shift command I to invert. Now it, only this is selected, crop, enter twice. And you can push play to export. I'm gonna do it for just a couple more. I know the shortcut key sounds like a lot, but your brain will adapt to it very nicely and you will be able to do it in no time at all. See, once you do command click, Shift Command I C. So fast. These are high resolution files, so it takes a little longer. The best thing about this is you're saving it in two formats. The two formats that clients need: high res TIFFs and web ready JPEGs. As long as you always send these to your clients, you will never have any issues. They can make them whatever size they want. They can make and they can use the JPEGs for meetings or sending small emails. Keep going and chugging through. And then once that's done, head over to your image software and you'll see that the JPEGs are in here, perfectly cropped, all the same size. And if we go back into the TIFFs folder, we'll see that we have our high res TIFFs here too. So there you have it. All of your layered files, your JPEGs and your TIFFs all neatly in one space. That's my tutorial. If you want to learn anything more, hit subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks a lot guys. Happy shooting.